All right, well, the temps are slowly warming up this week, and hopefully winter will be over in a few weeks, crossing our fingers. But as this happens, it's important to make sure your skin is ready for the change. So we are talking to Dr. Holly Gunn from Lancaster Skin Center about what you need to do to get your skin ready for the spring and the summer. How are you? I'm doing well, Courtney. Thanks for having me. Well, we're excited to have you. And of course, I came over and talked to you just for a second before the segment, and you were like, Health and fitness, you have to keep that in mind. That is a doctor's number one Absolutely. tip, Absolutely. Right? As physicians, we're always talking about eating healthy, exercising, and for your skin, it's very important too because if you're healthy on the inside, you're going to get that na that natural healthy glow on the outside. So that's the most important thing. Exercise 30 minutes at least two or three times a week. So I tell myself I'm going to do it every day, so I actually get in there get in two or three times be. a right, week. Right. Yep, and eating lots of antioxidants. So dark berries, blueberries, blackberries, even strawberries, delicious stuff, and nuts like walnuts, pecans. Make sure you're getting a lot of antioxidants in there, staying away from the high sugar, high fat foods. And again, you'll be gl your skin will be glowing because of it. Well, that's perfect. So we'll start that as a base layer. And then there's stuff that you can also do topically too to improve your skin, right? Well, absolutely. So as we're shedding our layers of clothing, we're gonna be start showing off our skin. You want it to have that, that nice glow. So you wanna exfoliate. And I, I always get a little scared when I tell people to exfoliate because there's a potential to overdo it. And mm -hmm. I don't mean it mechanically exfoliating and scrubbing. Okay. You really wanna be doing it with ingredients that are gonna be naturally exfoliating. So for our body, grabbing some like CeraVe SA or Mlactin, those have either lactic acid in it or salicylic acid in it, those are going to naturally exfoliate you. So you're not looking you. for like the grainy kind of stuff? No, avoid anything that's scrubby, especially for the face or even for the body because you're going to end up getting bumpies or rashies if you're not exfoliating using ingredients that okay. are exfoliating. So I brought in um, a Vipil. This is something that we do in the office. If you're looking for something a lot stronger, so if you've got a lot of pigmentation issues, if you got a lot of sunspots last summer, this is good to use. You can use it on your face. I uh, brought in some pictures of, of some faces that I've done. You can even do the oh, neck too. Okay. Yep. So this is actually after a vi pill, and then we're going to be starting it to expose our décolleté too. So I brought in a neck picture um, after we did laser treatments. That's an incredible change. Oh too. yeah. You can if you have a lot of pigmentation issues, either doing lasers or chemical pills or a combination of both, you can really improve your skin. So if you had a lot of photo damage, if you were in the sun a lot in your younger years, you could de definitely use those. And then moving on to, uh, what is yep. this? Yep, so after you exfoliate, you definitely want to <laughs> this moisturize. This is something, I know I was gonna say, I think this is moisturizer, I thought that you was. Def you definitely okay. want to moisturize. So this is face, because if you if you're when you're moisturizing your face, it wants, you want it to say specifically for your face. I see. Every okay. day you want to have sunscreen in your moisturizer for your face, at 15 okay. or higher. So these are some of my favorite brands for the body. Um, last time I brought in tubs of cream over the summer, you're going to be able to get at, away with the pumps and the lotion. Oh, so, uh, is that just because yep. it's thinner? Yep, okay. so you're not going to need as thick and creamy, but the Cetaphil Restoraderm is almost like a cream, but it's still in a pump, so it's really good. I like it. And again, the only way to have a good, safe tan is if it comes from a bottle or a spray can. Yes, they're perfectly safe. They're just sugars. So if you need that healthy glow despite the exfoliation, stay out of the um, sun or use your sunscreens. Um, use your self tanners. Awesome. All right, Holly, thank you so much for joining us awesome. this morning. We'll put all these tips on our website, fox43.com, and we'll also put information about the Lancaster Skin Center as well. Thank you so much for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me.